Have you ever tried steamed red snapper? If not, you are missing out. You have to try this recipe and trust me, it is cooked to perfection. Stay tuned. hi guys it's cooking with claudia here and on today's menu i'm bringing to you one of my amazing and delicious red snapper recipe trust me guys you know when it reaches red snapper i got those recipes in my hands so if you're new here a very big welcome to you to my returning subscribers thank you so much you guys are amazing so before we get started if you haven't yet subscribed please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get updates of any of my recent updates so first we have our red snapper here it has been scaled gutted but not washed so i'm going to be washing it now with some whole lemon just pressing in the juice inside so everything gets in there perfectly and wash appropriately For the rest of the ingredients here, we have some bell peppers, onion, and parsley, allspice, ground allspice, some ketchup, hot sauce, I'm using chili sauce. Here we have some dried thyme, salt, and black pepper. If you have fresh thyme, you can use it. Some ginger and garlic paste. And to season my fish, I'll be using this brand to season my fish. I love this brand. It's so, so good. And for the tomatoes, I'll be using already canned tomatoes, peeled and parboiled. You can use fresh diced tomatoes if you want to. And lastly, we have some butter. So let us start by drying off our fish, score the fish, and season with our favorite fish seasoning. If you don't have this fish seasoning, use whatever your favorite seasoning you have. Or if you have a favorite seasoning, just season with some black pepper and salt is going to do a perfect trick for you. So guys, let's set the fish aside and let's get on to prep the rest of our fresh ingredients. I'm going to be curding or slicing the fresh ingredients julienne curds. Julienne curds only for the bell peppers.
So now in a hot pot, I'm just going to melt in some butter, add some cooking oil. Guys, just check the description box because as usual, I'm going to be dropping the detailed recipe right there. Now add the onion inside the melted butter and let it saute for about 2 minutes until you start getting that fragrance from it. And after that time, you can bring in the tomatoes. Like I said before, you can use diced tomatoes. Like you just dice the fresh tomatoes, put it inside. So I'm just mashing this up so I get like little particles in there. Then just stir it with the onion and let it just cook for about a minute. Then you can combine the rest of the ingredients inside. This is the part where we have to steam our fish. Add in two cups of water, then you can bring in the fish. The fish can steam for about 10 minutes. This is my favorite part in cooking guys, like when the fish just comes in, I don't know, like I just feel so good about it, like I don't know, red snapper guys, I love red snappers, like I have a million recipes for red snappers, don't worry guys, I'm going to be bringing you all those beautiful recipes, just keep supporting your girls, support my channel, keep following, liking, subscribe, and trust me, you're gonna love it here. So after that time, our red snapper has been cooked to perfection. I'm just going to be basting with some of this soup here, all the sauce right there. And here yeah, your fish is ready to serve. I'm just serving on a plate here and I'm going to be garnishing with some fresh parsley like they say the eyes eat first before the mouth but nowadays sometimes the phone eats first because we get to 
take pictures of our food with the phone before we actually eat so guys thank you so much for watching to this point i appreciate your support always don't forget to like share subscribe comment until we meet again in my next video bye for now and keep trusting my recipes